got two two brawlers. They're gonna get into some fisticuffs. Uh, grab you and you throw. I'll throw you. Yeah, that's kind of the goal against Little Mac. That's what you want to do. Throw him off stage. We got Battlefield. Um, which, you know what? Actually, I will say surprisingly is not that bad for Mac. I've seen some Macs who, who choose Battlefield. And they actually are like surprisingly good there, you know? Yeah, it's so weird seeing Start GG. I'm going to agree. I, I think it was a... It was it was a mediocre rebrand. Like, no flame, but yeah, flame guys. Like Smash EG, you guys can do better. You see, I'm I'm calling you Smash EG. Anyways, you know, maybe just give us a mobile app and fix your stuff. But nah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> so 94 to uh, 94, no longer because of the blast zone. But uh, you know, Kai is really taking advantage of that uh, that hitbox and getting those counters in. Nice job into the down to the side B. That's gonna be a stock. Um, securing that lead, but at 94%, you know, DK can, mm, 45% at least, uh, you know, Kai is getting some nice bonus percent. Uh, you still, the thing with this matchup is, I feel like DK has a lot going for him, but, you know, you get a, you get a good Mac in the ring, and you're kind of just a big body, and Mac, Mac got combos, like, yeah, Mac Edgeguard like goes crazy, bro. Like I, I, I believe Kai will spike reaps. Like I want to see that happen. The side B, and we're gonna see another Edgeguard. Ooh, good job. Going for the high recovery, mixing it up because you know Little Mac is really good at edge guarding, um, as you can tell. But <laughs> jokes aside, that was a good mix up, and that's gonna be a stock with a nice down smash. Um, you know, I think that's something really important to learn as a player is. Mixing up your recoveries, especially against characters with recover uh, with counters, because you lose stocks so much earlier than you should be if you don't know how to avoid those counters or to bait out an option. Nonetheless, we did see that from Reap, so good performance, and uh, that's gonna be the stock lead returned for Kai. Um, that was an interesting clash, but you know, I guess sometimes you gotta deal with these kind of things. Forty-five percent on Reap's. Kai is really racking that shit up. KO Punch is on deck too. Reap's probably going to want to stay above on the platforms, but actually we're seeing quite the opposite of uh, Reap's lurking from the bottom, and uh, that's going to be that's gonna be it. That's the game. A little two-stock from Kai. Wonderfully done. That was a pretty enjoyable Mac to watch, I will say. So, as was the DK, but, you know, I figured I would comment and compliment the one who did take that game <sighs> you don't know how to fight Mac bro yeah you know that's the thing I'm not gonna give you any advice because I'm not I'm not coaching um but I find I find the thing with Mac is that he's one of those characters who I think it's so bad that no one knows the matchup because no one wants to play Little Mac. And, and also, I'm sorry, but Little Mac can be a pain in the ass sometimes. Like, there's no doubting that. Um, he's just, he, he does some, he does damage. You're going to get hurt. Um, and so I think that's important to acknowledge. But, you know, DK can do DK things. So I think just, you know, both of you guys, you have to be in the right mindset and you have to be thinking. You know, my suggestion to you, Reaps, is um, seeing as you, you've uh, you've met Kai now in in bracket, you should ask them for some uh, some tips and some some practice because I think I think that's a really good thing to do with tournaments and uh, that's that's another great thing about these online tournaments uh, you know and it's I'm glad that people like cup are still hosting these things uh, because it really gives you access to a wider base of players and you know you get to you get to interact meet new people um, whether it's for social things or rather for benefit of improving uh, these things are important you know there's a there's a very important social aspect of tournaments. Yeah, so that's, that's kind of how it works, you know. <laughs> yeah, you see, I th that's what I was talking about is that some some Macs be be schmoovin' on them 
on them platforms. You don't know what to do about it. Um, but let's see if FD is the right choice. Um, again, Mac is known for being strong in FD, but if someone is a little bit more comfortable against him on there, then it's uh, I'm not the one to judge. All right, so we're on FD. Reaps wasn't lying. Um, I think what we're going to be seeing here a little bit more is of a cat and mouse game. Um, between, or just absolute destruction, 60% already. Um, but it's kind of just, you know, dashing back forward. Um, we're going to have to see who's going to be bold enough to make the next move. Uh, and right now, it seems Kai is just ready to dominate. No down smash, two frame. Uh, you got to be careful air dodging, and especially against the Titan like little mac uh going for the grab but the pivot uh, seems to have not missed the mark oh my goodness all of these and almost the zero death but reefs is gonna take it and the counter out of the combo classic you got to be careful um both as the player doing it and as the player uh, do going against that um it was miserable i must say um but so something something you got to consider is that if kai does it too too often obviously that's bad um, because Reaps can read it, but it's also bad for Reaps because sometimes you just really, you're feeling it, you're doing a combo, but a counter comes out and, you know, you're just not expecting it. That's going to be a stock, uh, and that's kind of what we expect from this matchup, you know? You see, I knew what you're talking about, Hypercat Man, Cat Man, no, I didn't actually, but I figured if you said it was miserable, it must be miserable. Uh, so, two stocks is two stocks. Um, Reaps can take an early stock. This is DK against Mac. Uh, that's what this matchup is. Um, yeah, DK's a big body, but he does big body things. And that's going to be a stock, 22% on Kai, looking pretty fresh. Let's see uh, what percent he can get uh, without losing his stock. Got to be a little careful. Oh, that parry into the F smash. I'm actually a little surprised that Kai uh, opted for the S smash there. Uh, I think that perhaps maybe more damage could have been gained from, uh, you know, like one of the tilt attacks into uh, another tilt attack. Whatever, you know, just like a little string of things. Uh, nonetheless, it ended up working out, and that's going to be the stock and the game. Uh, that's a 2-0 for Kai. Um, Reaps will work on the <laughs> matchup, that's for sure. That was a good performance from both players. I, Reaps did... I, I feel... Like, I don't know if Reaps actually did better. Like, um, I'm not sure. Uh, 